Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Springer and I'm a cardiac electrophysiologist with Norton Heart and Vascular Institute. A cardiac electrophysiologist, or EP doctor, is a cardiologist with additional training in the treatment of heart rhythms. We see people who have abnormal heart rhythms, and some of these rhythms may not need treatment, and some may not be dangerous but cause symptoms, such as palpitations, racing heartbeats, or fainting, and those need treatment to reduce or eliminate symptoms. Some rhythms can be dangerous and need treatment. The first step is to diagnose the rhythm causing the symptoms. This is done with cardiac rhythm monitors. For symptoms that only happen once in a while, it can be difficult to record the rhythm. The longer we can monitor, the more likely we are to find the abnormal rhythm. An EKG is only about 10 seconds of recording. A Holter monitor is 24 to 48 hours of recording. An event monitor is one to four weeks. Even four weeks may not be enough. For these patients, implantable loop recorders are available. These are small devices that are implanted under the skin, on the chest, and can monitor for up to four years. These are often used to monitor for atrial fibrillation in people who have had a stroke. The loop recorder is placed under the skin using a local anesthetic through a very small incision less than a quarter of an inch wide. This usually takes no more than five minutes. Patients are given a monitored take home. This communicates with the loop recorder and sends to our office any recordings of abnormal rhythms. After a diagnosis is made, or when the battery runs down, the loop recorder can be removed, but also may be left in place as it will do no harm to do so. The first patient I put a loop recorder in was a 47-year-old woman with multiple episodes of fainting. We did all of the sophisticated tests, including heart catheterization, event monitors, and even an EP study, which is like a heart catheterization to check the electrical system. All of those were normal. Her mother had died suddenly at age 50, and she was 47 and worried. I was also concerned. We placed a loop recorder, and three months later, she had a fainting spell. And the loop recorder showed that her heart had stopped for 10 seconds. She received a pacemaker and has never fainted since. The risks of loop recorder placement are minimal, with less than 1% risk of infection. For patients requiring long-term monitoring, loop recorders are an excellent option. Always remember to fully discuss any procedure with your doctor and be sure to get all of your questions answered. Be sure to review pre and post documents on what to do before and after the procedure as always, if you have any questions, please reach out to your doctor's office. Thank you for choosing Norton Heart and Vascular Institute.